Hello everyone and welcome back to Max yeah, Max an Autistic Journey. <laughs> now, um, I actually did realize that I do need to collect the blocks on the very first island. I actually missed that. And um as we're heading back, I want to talk about something. Um achievements. Now I don't know about you guys, but I love collecting achievements in video games, and the achievements in this game actually don't seem that bad. Like I could actually see myself 100 percenting this game. Um, some of the achievements, uh, like, it, uh, the only remaining achievements are ones, uh, regarding story progress, and a few regarding, um, playing certain minigames flawlessly. Like, I think there's an achievement for doing every breathing minigame without fail. Um, there's an achievement for having a certain amount of money. Actually, wait, I have the window open right now. Um, oh wow, I'm only about a fourth of the way there for the money achievement, huh? Yo, how come every RPG Maker game on Steam has a money achievement? Like, <laughs> it's... Um, what else is there? There was also an achievement for playing the, the False Terry flawlessly, whatever that thing is called. Let's see. These guys look like straight-up RPG Maker heroes. I want to fight this thing, though. This thing looks, looks cool. Oh, I was kind of hoping it would just be like a big block face. <laughs> it's... Its head, or like the head of the overworld, actually looks a little bit like the um, the head of the Cubeman gar uh, the Cubeman characters I make a lot. <laughs> it's the ones I'm writing a book about right now. It's going pretty well, by the way. I have a my my New Year's resolution was to finish that book by the end of this year, <clears throat> and I'm doing pretty well. I'm on book seven out of eight, and I want to get a book done every two months, so. Also, I still gotta use those HP ups. There we go. Oh, these guys give you HP ups too. Huh. Yeah, I got five of them. Cool. Okay, let's see what these dudes want. <laughs> Wait, is that just straight up from like Google Images? <laughs> what do you want? John, you must hurry, winter is coming. I know where to find the red block. You grit? It's gonna be a long winter. Hold up, is this a Game of Thrones reference? I don't watch that show. I've never seen that show. Huh. Also, something that bothers me a little bit, when you get into a, um, into a vehicle, um, the sprite for, like, Max inside the vehicle, like, loads up as you're still walking into it, and it looks a little weird, in my opinion. <laughs> now, I sort of wonder if you actually need to collect 100 bricks. Oh, whoa, look at this! Is that being updated in real time? Like, as I collect bricks, um, that actually, um, that, that'd be really cool if it did. I'm not gonna go out of my way to check, because that might take a while, but whatever. This already seems like a pretty lengthy minigame. Typically minigames where you have to collect like each and every of 100 items or something aren't really a great idea. And the reason why is because if you miss just one, which I did, like um, at the very start of the area I actually missed one. Or I, I missed like three because they kind of blended in. Also, is this supposed to be in the shape of something? I kind of get that feeling. Hmm. You pretty much just have to, like, scan the entire place over again. If you've ever played, um, Shadow the Hedgehog, like that really weird Sonic spinoff where, like, the main character uses guns, um, you probably know what, what I mean when I say this. Like, it's an atrocious idea. <laughs> like, have you played that first level? There's like 60 enemies, and you need to kill like each and every one of them without fail. And if you miss just one, you have to do the entire level over again. It's so stupid. Uh, I actually own that game, although the disc is really scratched. I always wanted to see if I could complete it. Meh. Just because you guys know me, I... <laughs> Heck, I, I actually like playing bad games every now and then, because I think they can help us um, appreciate good games even more. 
It looks like I meant to take this one. Oh, okay, so this one can go over the deep water. So it's the mermaid tail from Oracle of Ages. Okay. Oh! Cool. I'm assuming the red bricks are the eyes, the light green bricks are the stomach, and the dark green bricks are like the rest of the- What the? Oh, the red, br the red bricks hurt me. Okay, they must be like lava. You know, I do kind of wish these enemies looked as goofy as their overworld sprites. <laughs> it's... Oh, he has a draining move. Uh-oh. And that did more damage than one turn of damage does. Hmm. He's gonna play that game. I might as well see if I can, um... Maybe do, like, a super move. I'm gonna save up for the King of Monsters... Yeah, because he's going to keep healing, and I can't do enough damage to him, so I'm going to have to, like, take him out in one, in one move or something. Thankfully, he's blinded. Oh, but hold up. I want to see what this does. I don't think we've used this yet. Oh, I thought that might have been an instant kill, but it just had, like, a really low chance of working on, on like, bosses. Actually, no, those types of skills never work on bosses. But whatever, at least we got to try it. Okay, cool. Or maybe I could have paralyzed him, too. I think I overthought that fight. <laughs> I'm very prone to overthinking things. <clears throat> That's a plane. <laughs> it's... Actually, this makes it smaller than I thought it was. It's actually good. Like, make it look bigger than it actually is. That way you make it look epic, yet at the same time you don't make it, like, overwhelming. Okay, now which one does this one get? Yellow blocks. I'm gonna save up for, like, a super move again, because I don't know what to expect from these monsters. So does this one just hit hard? Paralyze, speed. I, I go faster than him, so that's not too dangerous, or too pa yeah, too good. Nope, that didn't work. Just attack him. Get the magic marker going. Yo, that's really good for, like, single target enemies. Okay, cool. Another HP up. <laughs> oh wow, that is fast. Uh, I'm assuming t stepping on the red block still hurts me. Now I got all the fruits. Oh, there's also an achievement for getting all the fruits. Or all the fruit. I guess these monsters are just immune to paralysis. Oh, that did a lot. You know, I don't think you need the Japanese symbols there. It just kind of makes it makes it come off as if that's just a default animation you put on top of that. Like you can remove those pretty easily. Anima our animations are like the one thing. Oh, I. Oh, there's more than um than you need. That's actually that's actually a really good compromise. I can take my airplane and fly right into its mouth. Uh, can I land on like? No, I can't. Hmm. What was I saying? Oh yeah, animations. Like animations are not that difficult to make. Heck, even if you just play around with, like, the default ones, you can make some stuff that looks kind of unique. Ha 
<laughs> oh, I love that face. So I just go in? Uh, okay, I just go- Oh, it must be a save. Arg! At last I'll have my revenge. That's what you think, you fat ugly lizard. Attack! Alright, so we're battling you again. Although, you look stronger this time. Hmm. Let's do this, because I don't know who's faster yet. I'm going to save it for my own King of Monsters skill. We've learned that these super moves can do like 9,000 damage, so... Also, I just noticed that his um, his spine is lighting up. That's actually really cool. <laughs> I have a feeling this King of Monsters was custom made for this game. Like, you seem proud of it enough that you've used it twice now. <laughs> it's... Don't worry, I, I know that feeling too. Okay, um, time to use the super move. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, can I not using it because I'm fighting him? That's actually kind of clever. Huh. I might as well use this just twice then. Oh, that didn't- that did nothing. Huh. Alright, well let's just go back to this then. Maybe I can blind him. Yeah, that just does way more. I'm just gonna keep doing that. I did not know they took that skill away from you. We're getting to a point now which those like big heals heal less than uh than I have health for. I still trust him not to get not to go critical. Okay, now we'll heal. Yeah, 2,500. We have those though. Although I'm I'm gonna keep doing these because this boss doesn't actually seem that bad. I can like war of nutrition this fight. Clearly. See, this is why you don't give your your player like three items whenever you whenever they they finish a battle <laughs> per enemy. That's just a little absurd. We're less than 10 turns here. One more hit. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's a little boring as far as rematches go, but whatever. What do I get for that? Oh, okay. Got a level up, that's sweet. Is that it? Time to brush your teeth! Oh, my teeth. I'll put my blocks away first. I have to open my toy chest first. We know this. <laughs> I kind of like that, actually. You now have the special skill, the wall! Oh, folks, we can build a Trump wall now. <laughs> Let's brush those teeth. <laughs> it's... That probably just raises defense. 
Build a block. A build a block wall to protect all allies. <laughs> that actually sounds like it could be pretty useful. Does that just give like a defense buff to everyone? Okay. For Max, like with showering, brushing his teeth requires a well established routine. Top, bottom, side, side, front, back. Fortunately, Max loves to take um to yeah, loves the taste of toothpaste. It's important for a person with an ASD to with ASD to use a, a toothpaste that has a pl pleasing taste. Once we found one that Max life, we always buy the same. And when we must uh, change his uh, toothbrush, it's important to set the stage first. If Max is faced with the surprise of a new toothbrush, one must expect a reaction that can go from anxious or to happy or anger. Huh. Oh, I thought this was going to be like a similar minigame to the showering, but like with different parts of the mouth instead of... Wait, are we gonna fight Plaque? Dude, that back- What is this? <laughs> what do they have on them? Looks like they're wearing belts. I actually kind of love these monsters. <laughs> it's... What was I saying? Oh yeah, I, I was kind of like this when I was a kid. Um, I really liked this one strawberry toothpaste. Well, the thing with me, it, it wasn't really much the flavor. I just didn't like mint toothpaste, like, at all. Like, I wouldn't use it. Nowadays, I will, because it's just objectively better, from my experience. <laughs> it's, and typically a lot less expensive, so whatever, I'll just deal with it. Okay. You know, I sort of wonder if the dev wanted to do two rows of teeth, but couldn't do this due to um, enemy size limitations, or enemy limitations, because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, the most you can have on screen is eight, um, is eight enemies. You know, there might be plugins to extend that if you want. Like, if you really want to go all in with this idea and just fight a whole row of teeth. That didn't kill him? Oh, wow. At least I have enough TP to cast it again. Yeah, I kind of wonder... That, that, that seems like something Yonfly would have created by now. Something that lets you um, put in like more monsters than they're actually allowed. I like Yon Fly a lot. I think this might do it. Either this is the next one. Oh, good. There we go. How many items am I going to get for that? Jeez. Like, come on, devs. <laughs> I don't need that many of them. I love the taste of toothpaste. I brush all my teeth. Good. Done. Great job, Max. Alright, sleep time. In fact, I'm pretty tired now. Hmm. Oh, I can turn off the lights. Go ahead and save. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just walk into the bed. Papa, I'm in bed! You brush your teeth? Yes, Papa. Perfect. Good night, my sweet little guy. Sweet dreams. I love you very much. Yes, Papa. Good night, Papa. Come on, Papa? Yes, Max? What, uh, what are we having for dinner tomorrow? What are we having for dinner tomorrow? I have no idea. Alright, good night. Good night. I sometimes ask that too. Like, <laughs> it's... oh, are we going to a dream world? Please let us go to a dream world. Ooh. What is this? Uh, is it lightning? Oh, he must not like lightning. Huh. 
No, no, no. I hate thunderstorms. Huh. Well, I can I can assure you this is something I never had a problem with. I actually kind of like the lightning. I found it kind of soothing. Just because I always knew like it couldn't hurt me if I was inside the house. I've got all my powers to help me. The imaginary world of, of the autistic. When um, whether we are neurotypical or not, all through our lives we are we all develop coping mechanisms, ways to react and protect ourselves in our environment. For Max's ASD often brings very upsetting visions of the world that surrounds him. His reaction, wonderment. Max, like many people with ASD, has built a fantasy world filled with magic, beauty, and wonders and powers to create to help himself feel well and safe. For his loved ones, it is essential to accept the existence of this imaginary world and to even enter it from time to time. Attempting to de um, demolish it would result in also demolishing his self-esteem, his security, and his well-being. Is this the final one? That, um... Ooh la la! <laughs> that icon looks kind of penultimate. In fact, that's a big thunderstorm. Ouch. It's okay, Max. Try to breathe deeply. Alright. You should try to turn on the lights. Oh, I see what we're doing. Okay, we're going through all the pictos. Oh, the lights didn't turn on. Try it again. There's no electricity. Okay, that's annoying. <laughs> Grab your flashlight. That's true. Great, great idea. Okay, cool. I fear you could jump. I hit that button by accident trying to run. There we go. You now have a special skill flashlight. Oh, am I getting my skills back? You're very brave. Keep it up. Go ahead. Take all the powers and fa um, and face that terrible thunderstorm. That's true. I'll grab all my powers and go and uh, go see Jimmy. The earmuffs. Oh, okay. That. Oh, it's. <laughs> Good, okay. I, that, that magic marker skill is growing on me. Can I play the video game? Well, there's no power. That flash is act, actually kind of hurts my eyes a bit. Like, it's... Oh, we haven't done this yet. Um... Cool, okay. So get the Trump wall back. Um... Freddy come help me? Cool, okay. I, I wanted to get that skill back. I have all my powers. I'll go see Jimmy. That's a lot of things to carry. Maybe you should use your school bag. I think I'll use my school bag to carry my powers. Great idea. Cool. <laughs> I never got up in the middle and I collected all my things and put them in a school bag before, I will say that. <laughs> it's... You know, I get the idea that the dinosaur is sort of meant to be an imaginary friend. I sort of had that as a kid as well. I don't quite remember much about it, but I kind of want to save because I feel like a final boss is coming up. A hi. <laughs> There's a big thunderstorm outside. I know, Max. The thing you've got... Are his pajamas like no shirt and a pair of jeans? That is not practical. My inner voice just told me to get it. Okay. Why, why do you have a school bag? It's to carry all my powers. Okay, whatever. Go ahead, I'll follow you. We should go talk to to Dad and Gege upstairs. I'll light the way. Yes, Max, that's the point. Cool. You know, the fact that, um... What? I don't remember where I left my glasses. I was playing in the basement before. Can we please go look for my glasses? Great idea. Isn't this the basement? Can you put on a shirt too? <laughs> it's... You know, another reason why I thought, um... That, um... The, oh, there we go. The Papa's mother, um... Gay Gay was like an ex is because Max actually called her Gay Gay. 
Because, like, normally she'd call, uh, he'd call her mom, right? Here are your glasses, Jimmy. Thanks, Max. I kind of wonder what that's about. Okay, cool. So we got Jimmy back. Uh, he has, why does he have no health? Um, it's, let's use our 80 juice boxes real quick. 99 bottles of water. 99 bottles of water is... <laughs> Oh, hello. I honestly thought you'd be in the in your room. Do you know if there are any batteries anywhere? Freaking batteries. When you need them, they all disappear. We have the three flashlights and not one is working. Mine is working. What the heck are you doing with your school bag? It's to carry my powers. Bravo, Max. That's a wonderful idea. Yes, Max. Wonderful. Okay, give me the flashlight, uh, please, so I can go look for more batteries. Can you please hand me your flashlight? Seriously, I'm not in a freaking mood to play games. Max? Sorry, Max, I didn't mean to yell. Could you and your brother go find us plenty of other D batteries so we can uh, use the other flashlight, please? There must be plenty around the house, in the drawers and such. There might be some in the TV stand in the living room. Uh, the TV stand in the living room and in your rooms in some toys. How many do we need? Two batteries per flashlight. We have three, so four batteries. Oh, six batteries. Are they not counting mine? Huh. You can make it a game if you'd like. Go ask Charles and Ellie if they want to join you. It could be an adventure an adventure on another planet. Come on, Max. Thank you, my dear. You're welcome, baby. Are we gonna have, a, like, a party of four? But where's the dinosaur? I'm gonna save it here, actually. I think this is gonna go on a little longer than I expected. Um, next episode might be the final one. I'm, I'm kind of getting that feeling. So... Alright, I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.